All right, let's go out to his crib. Take it away, homeboy. Yes, sir. Let's talk about Michael Jordan and LeBron James. The debate about which of these guys is the GOAT always seems to be making news. Now, one of Jordan's biggest rivals, Bill Lambeer of the Bad Boy Pistons, has decided to weigh in. Lambeer had some fierce battles with MJ, but actually says LeBron is the greatest basketball player of all time, and that is not even close. So I want to ask you guys, do you think Lambeer really believes this? No, I don't. I believe Bill Lambeer is being very loyal uh, to Isaiah Thomas, and I respect that. Mm. Isaiah Thomas mm. uh, was treated poorly by Michael <laughs> Jordan and was left off an Olympic team, and it was a disgrace uh, that that happened. Isaiah Thomas certainly belonged on that team. He's one of the greatest players, particularly of that era. Isaiah Thomas and the Detroit Pistons, they wrote the Jordan rules and used to beat up Michael Jordan. Uh, and Bill Lambeer and most of the Detroit Pistons, not fans of Michael Jordan. They don't get the proper respect that they deserve because of the Bulls dynasty and Michael Jordan. I don't buy this remotely that that's what he believes. Uh, anybody, to me, with an objective opinion knows that Michael Jordan is the GOAT or Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is the GOAT, one or the, one or the other, but it ain't LeBron James right now. LeBron has a shot, but it ain't him right now. I actually believe him. I believe him. I think he's being honest. I think that he is telling us something that we all know about ourselves, that so much of life is about your perspective. And he's a former peer of Michael Jordan, a foe of Michael Jordan. So when Michael Jordan's flying through the lane and all of our collective mouths are open and all. He's in there defending this guy, and he's not as enamored with him because he's not an outsider. And because of that unique perspective, he was able to see the greatness of Michael Jordan, but also some of the issues or flaws in his game. So if you look at this conversation, a lot of people get it confused, and they can't see it clearly. They always think who's more accomplished is always the greater one. That's not the case. Is Bill Russell a better player than Wilt Chamberlain? No, he's just more accomplished. And in this conversation, MJ versus LeBron, they're more, they're closer in terms of ability and accomplishment. So that makes it a little confusing for people. But here's something that you can argue against MJ being the GOAT and giving it to LeBron. LeBron's going to go down in history with more points, more rebounds, more assists, but not more championships. And I think that's what MJ can always hold as his gold standard with his resume. I'm undefeated in the finals. I never went to a game seven. No one can argue that, but there are other attributes to the game of basketball that LeBron actually trumps Michael Jordan, and I named a few. You know what? I actually believe he's telling the truth. You got to think about it. Like you said, with Locke, Bill Lambeer, he played alongside Isaiah Thomas. That was his leader. So we all know Isaiah Thomas is the guy who's a team first guy. Michael Jordan is a guy who a lot of people consider was a little selfish, as great as he was. So from Bill Lambeer's perspective, he's going to lean more towards the team first guy, a la LeBron James. So to me, it makes sense why he would think LeBron is, is the GOAT or is better, better than Michael Jordan, especially when these guys competed year after year. And early on, the Pistons gave Jordan everything he wanted and then some. <laughs> MJ could not get past those bad boy Pistons until, you know, Scottie Pippen came along and he got developed and, you know, and we know what happened from there on. But from Lambeer's perspective, he was like, shoot, we, we battled, we battled right, right there alongside with Jordan and beat him. So why would I put him as the GOAT? Well, I want to say this about numbers. Numbers don't lie, but people can twist numbers and make them tell a falsehood. Michael Jordan uh, spent three years in college. LeBron came straight to the NBA right out of high school at 18 and started putting up those numbers. Obviously, Michael set out for those two years. LeBron's going to pass him in a lot of stats just based off longevity, uh, better science today uh, than what they had during Michael Jordan's year. Michael, I think, lost nearly an entire season to an injury. Uh, so I get it that... LeBron James has a case to be the greatest of all time. But for Bill Lambeer to have witnessed, participated in a whole little set of rules and a strategy to take down Michael Jordan, they wrote a book about it called The Jordan Rules. 
as great as LeBron has been, and his impact has been pretty enormous, I, I don't think his impact on the game of basketball matches Michael Jordan. I'm not even sure if his impact in terms of just changing the game. Steph Curry changed the game. He changed the style of the, the way the NBA has, is being played right now. Uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, when he changed the game, they, they, they changed rules in college basketball for Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. LeBron has been tremendous. We'll see. Maybe he can. they'll restart this season. He'll get another championship, and he'll enhance his uh, resume for being better than, than Michael Jordan. But, but I'm tell you, I love Isaiah Thomas, not as much as Bill Lambeer, but I, I love Isaiah Thomas. I, I really do. But I'm not going to get crazy about it and start disrespecting Michael Jordan because I got a loyalty to Isaiah Thomas. Uh, look, uh, to me, the longevity argument uh, falls flat when you start to say, oh, LeBron's just going to pass Jordan because he played longer. Well, Vince Carter's going to play longer than anybody <laughs> already did, and he's not surpassing Michael Jordan or LeBron James. It's not just a longevity argument. It's greatness and consistent excellence is why LeBron is going to surpass Michael Jordan. The injuries to Michael Jordan, the, the, the tap out and taking time away from the game, all should count against Michael Jordan, not, oh, by the way, he did these certain things or this happened to him. All that's on your resume. And I can easily understand the argument that Michael Jordan's the greatest because you talk, you talk about impact. But here's the thing about LeBron and his impact. It hasn't fully been felt yet. I mean, give LeBron 20 years post-retirement like Michael Jordan has right now, and let's see his impact. Because right now, as he's playing... If you were to forecast what that impact looks like, it's going to be tremendous and rival Michael Jordan. So uh, in terms of impact, it's too soon for LeBron James to be truly measured. But in terms of greatness on the court, he's still doing it. And that's why I think this is an argument. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Speak for Yourself or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.